Hello viewer, today I show you how to set up primary domain controller on CentOS. For this, uh, here is the just uh, diagram here. That this on the CentOS domain server with Active Directory, and here one Windows PC and another Windows PC, and this PC will connect the server and operate. So for this. I mentioned here first of all I need to configure PDC on CentOS here I install CentOS minimal server where I mention the server name and IP address and Samba domain whatever and second phase client I also create another Windows 7 PC host name this one and IP this one and then need to install step by step some here some configuration then machine accounts for windows access samba user account for windows pc samba service samba port firewall port ac linux configuration and then connect from windows to samba server or windows pc to linux domain controller this one so first of all uh, this one I have already created this is the server I have already created here this host name host name this one so I need to change the host name this one need to change and also need to know the IP yes command not found if config command not working freshly install the centros minimal server then it cannot work ip config so to uh, to uh, to working this one i need to install this package yam provide ip config and yam install net tools then it will work so first of all this one and then network tools yes done and now I think work IP config yes now working IP this one and need to now change the domain server name to, to change domain server name I need to use this command hostname ctl set hostname server dot tech mono dot local now test yes yes done ready <laughs> and second page client windows 7 yes i have already created this one windows 7 win 7 desktop and now it is under work group so after install pdc uh, we can connect this machine with the domain server yes so just go through step by step first of all I am install Samba this one and then I just check Samba version yes samba setup ready and samba configuration so before configuration i need to back up the default configuration file so just use the move command and now 
create samba configuration yes i for insert and here i just copy and paste the configuration script Yeah, I just work group declare take monoar and these these things I already need so after this that's save now test samba just enter yes it is working and now create directory samba directory okay. one is net logon and another is profile and also add two user user one and user I can also create <coughs> so many user here. Now create machine accounts. Uh, for every machine in order to allow domain login from Windows OS. Uh, these accounts basically needs for Windows PC to connect with the domain. So just add group Add user machine and create Samba user account for client PC. One for root, another two for user. Samba password root, root password. And then user one, Samba password for user one. and then user 2 yes now we start samba services that smb then nmb system ctl smb enable and smb enable yes done uh, these are the firewall port uh, those are need for uh, active directory in linux machine so somebody use the below port for active directory so i need to add this port i can uh, add one by one one by one or I can just copy this one and paste is it working one by one yes and then restart firewall service yes now AC Linux the setable and samba domain controller is linux, linux on yes and next home directory enable on net logon Access for AC Linux and for profile. Now we can uh, 
disable AC Linux default configuration go to the AC Linux configuration file sorry config and vi here i just change this apple and then save and reboot oh yes one seven two one six four dot three nine Okay, reboot ready. Now second phase, uh, joining Windows client to Samba PDC. So I have already created the Windows PC here, this one. So now I need to join this one with the domain server, Linux domain server. So change setting, change, yes, domain name take one out yes password root and password yes this is the problem but actually these are not major problem uh, we need some change uh, for registry file to resolve this problem so for this we need to go registry file the local machine system current control set services lamp one workstation and parameter here yes here we need to create two <coughs> dword file yeah. with the value the one is domain compatibility mode so just create here mm, okay this one copy first that here I create new reward yes, this one domain compatibility compatibility mode and modify its value one and another DNS name resolution required new name resolution required and modify zero okay now close this one also close this one and again try to connect domain server take monitor yes root and yes connect ready welcome to take monitor domain that's okay. okay okay and restart uh, 
that is Windows PC password IP was 136 so I add for reboot yes reboot ready this is the machine windows machine uh, just switch user and now login with using the DNS client user I have already created user 1 so this one take mono r plus user 1 and its password Yes, connect ready and also open with DNS client Fisher. Just uh, change desktop icon. This one. Yes, now. Yes, this one also give uh, 141 GB space for keeping any file. New folder. I can put any file so everything working now so also check from here uh, previously this one uh, only default work group but now the domain is techmonoar so this windows pc successfully connect with the linux server or linux domain server this are linux domain server uh, so now I can use uh, I can create so many user whatever we need uh, just uh, we can repeat here 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 uh, so if I need uh, many users so just here create uh, user 1, user 2, user 3 as like this uh, so many user and uh, just connect any Windows PC any Windows PC to the Linux server and it will work so everything working done so hello viewer and if you any if you get any help from this tutorial uh, please subscribe my channel thank you